Right, time for Kev's walkabout. Well, I'll have a walk round and see what we've got in. We've got some different vans in, so we'll we'll just have a quick look round and see what we've got. Fence has been painted. Looks right. Getting a bit thin on the ground on a the pitch. They're selling like hotcakes. See what we've got on the front. Oh, sun's coming out. Sun always shines on the righteous. <laughs> and we've got our VWZ. I think they're breeding. <laughs> Look, we've got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Room for another baby there. And we've got a nice V line there. I like the V line. I like this one as well. The Kingdom. Lovely van. Just have a, have a walk around. I think we've got we've got a roller team round here that's coming. These are vans that are uh, being prepared. This is a customer's van. We've done some work on for him. Time that it's sold. Here's a roll, we've got this in, roller team T line. Front keys for it. Nice little van. T line 590. Only just come in, so I've got a price on it. Open it up. Hopefully, don't set the alarm off. Oh no, managed it without setting the alarm off. Low entry step. Uh, let's just see what our layout is. It's like your, your A-class type uh, dinette and you've got your electric drop down bed nice skylight at the front your standard fit dash very nice van I like the seating yeah very nice your central kitchen I like the storage. Soft close. Oh, that's not. <laughs> and we've got an oven grill, which uh, you don't get on a lot of uh, Continental vans. Uh, you've got your standard three burner hob, like this. Yeah, nice perspex panel. Uh, good size fridge freezer. Really good size fridge freezer. Not put a price on this yet, it's only just come in. Uh, there's your control panel, and we've got a lovely end washroom with your toilet, set toilet, nice wash basin. And what I do like about this is it's got a nice separate shower, and also you've got storage here which can be accessed from outside, so it's also like a, a garage type storage as well. Muddy boots in the bottom. Yeah. Wardrobe. Plenty okay, of storage. So there we have it. So that's we also roll a T-Line 590. Got nice alloys as well. We'll have a walk around on the other pitch. It's a roller team actually, I said also roll as well. Same thing. The chasse on there, I think that's sole that one. Flash S3. We'll go and have a look around the rest of the uh, rest of the pitch, see what's come in there. Plenty of gas in. Just had a delivery actually, so the Yeah, just had a delivery, so he's got plenty of six kgs. A bit like NC those six kgs, but uh, looks to be stocking up again now. There's John Dyson with death on the ladder. Little robe home waiting to go to its new home. Uh, that's going out today. Uh, we've got the Auto Cruise Alto, that's going out today. I'm waiting for the customer coming, man that over today, later on today. Majestic, which is sold. Uh, we've got our Australian Marla, which is a four berth, only two belts, island bed. And we've got, look at this. The Australia F F60. Nice little compact van on a Ford. Let's just see what year it is. Oh, it's on a 21 plate. Should we have a look in this one? 
I've not even seen inside this one myself yet, it's only just come in. Mountains for a bike rack, reverse camera, it's got a good size fridge, as you can tell by the, uh, the fridge vents. Gas locker outside, auto trail F60. Not seen it myself, so we'll, uh, we'll have a good look round. We'll have a good nosy. Oh, electric step comes out when you unlock the central locking. Typical auto trail, you get your free umbrella. If you call it free, the price you pay for the new. For the new. Oh, I like this. Now, you saw the size of the van on the outside. Look at this lounge area. That is a nice lounge area. You've got two belly travel seats. That seat will lift out so that when you're using those for travel seats. You've got a nice couch area there. This will make a bed. And then above us, we've got a drop down bed. Similar layout to the uh, to the auto roller that we've just been at actually. Good size kitchen. I mean good good prep area, combined oven grill. Uh, three burner hob, like this. There's your control panel up there. Here's your fridge freezer. Ah, good size fridge freezer. Very, very similar to that auto roller that we've just been in. There's your control for your drop down electric bed. And it's a roller, it's, it's a auto trail, so what we're gonna find, we're gonna find a separate shower. We've got to. Yep. Separate shower. Nice wash basin, toilet. Ooh, good size wardrobe, yeah, excellent size wardrobe. Very, very similar to that auto roller we've just been in. Very similar layout. Except you're on a Ford, so you've got your different dash with your media pack and everything in there. Uh, carpets have been taken up, I think the cleaner's been in. Open the blind, there's a little bit of lighting. TV bracket there. Electric uh, Expel Air. Mm, very nice. All looked up, and what have we got here? We've got a Berkshire tow bear, auto sleeper Berkshire, and it's on a Mercedes. Uh, we're on a 6 0 plate. Let's go and have a look in this one, eh? Very popular on the Mercedes. Oh, very nice. Now this looks a quality van. It feels quality when you walk in it. Uh, you got full size cooker, separate oven grill, microwave. Uh, look at the woodwork. And look at that. You've, you've even still got all your crockery that came with it. Good size sink with the draining board. Three burners, an electric hob. Adequate size fridge. Nice U-shaped lounge, which will make a large double. And it looks quality, doesn't it? Yeah, very, very nice. Nice woodwork. And, oh, I've set the alarm off. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. And um, we've got a gas fire in this one, which I quite like the ones with a gas fire. Uh, blown air heating's alright, but you get a nice quick warm up with the gas fire, and it also works on electric, it's blown air behind it, and you've still got your blown air on gas, so yeah, I quite like the gas fires. Plenty of storage there, even a little wine rack. Comes complete with an Avtech TV. Good size wardrobe, there's your sergeant unit. You must have corner steadies on this, you've got your winder there for your corner steadies and you've got your separate table. And the alarm's just reset itself again. <laughs> it's because I haven't uh, turned the ignition on. Uh, we'll have a look in the, uh, in the shower room. Cassette toilet, wash basin and it's a wet room. Uh, the wet room in these, what happens is this swings across swings across like so and then you've got your shower door which makes you so it's like a really a separate shower compartment so yeah it's the equivalent of a se separate shower yeah nice washroom 
and uh, you've got your dash and we'll lock ourselves in again nice spacious cab area yeah so there we have it, the Berkshire we'll walk round it good sized van yep very nice van big van for a two bird so that's just three of the vans that have, uh, that have come in uh, Steve's out picking one up today got a long run today, he's in Dartford today he'll be uh, really pleased about that so yeah, like I say we're, we're busy, people say the market's dropping and the sales aren't going but I can assure you they are uh, we're getting a bit you know, we, we're still getting stock in, but as you can see, we've got quite a few empty spaces. We have got some up at the garage, though. We've, I think we've got about six up at the garage that are having work being done and checked off. Right, as I said previously, what we've got on the pitch, we have got some... I'm down at the workshop now. Uh, we've got some vehicles down here. Uh, that's one of ours. Uh, that's actually my van. I've just had the cam belt done on that. Which is quite handy when we've got our own workshop. Uh, that's another one of ours. Uh, this is one of ours. Uh, and then we've got the roller team, which I did show you before, but it's now been brought down to the workshop. Uh, we've got the Heimer there. And we've got the Bessie car. Uh, my mode of transport. Uh, we've got a Swift here that we've sold. And as you can see by the age of it, it's due a cam belt. So, I've come down, Adam's made a start on it. Uh, that's a nice swift lifestyle and we'll just have a look and see what he's done on it up to now. We can have a quick look underneath and oh, there's a lot of bits missing off here, Adam. <laughs> I don't think it'll run. No, I don't think it will run at that, will it? No, as you can see, there's lots of bits been removed and hanging off and this is what's involved in a cam belt but if the cam belt went what we're looking at adam three, three and a half grand replace the engine yeah you'd be somewhere around that you can repair it or replace it yeah, yeah it'd be self-destruct wouldn't it a lot cheaper to do the cam belt it is really isn't it yeah and we also do the water pump at the same time don't we yeah that's got the new water pump on though well, the pump is where, which one was that? This old piece here. That unit there is the water pump. Yeah, and there's the actual pulley for it. So you can see, if you've got to change a water pump, you've got to do exactly the same stripping down as you have to change a cam belt. So when you're having a cam belt done... And there's the old one actually beginning to that's leak. That's the old one. And look at that, it's on a 2015, and you can see where it's beginning to leak there. So false economy not to do water pump at the same time. Uh, the cam belts probably look all right, don't they? When you take them off. This one does show some age i don't know if your camera will pick yeah. it up see the coloration yeah you can definitely tell it's been on there a while so start to deteriorate it's the original one, yeah. yeah deterioration's there but you don't get a warning when they break they break <laughs> <laughs> then you start crying yeah <laughs> and you also change like tensioners and all that yeah full kit. there's your full kit that's what it all entails so if you want to save yourself a lot of money and a lot of grief if you've got a vehicle you bought and you've not checked and you've got no record of cam belt being done, just get it done. Get it done. Uh, we're looking what, four or five hundred quid? About five hundred on these because it's added to trees and all new auxiliary belts as well. Yeah, yeah about five hundred quid. But still cheaper than three and a half K. Yeah. Minimum. <laughs> Minimum, yeah. It'll always happen in the worst place possible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we'll let Adam carry on. So these are two water pumps that have come off and as Adam said they do show signs of starting to leak uh, we've actually had a 2017 that showed signs of leaking it's well worth getting them done uh, don't scrimp on it as you can see in our workshop here everything now is in house it's all uh, we do everything apart from bodywork and spraying so I'll we'll have a quick look underneath this van just show you all the, uh, there's your fuel tank, your cat, obviously your exhaust system, there's your handbrake system, 
uh, as your bump stops on your springs which if you're going to put air suspension on those are removed and you put your air suspension on we've got a spare wheel on this one and then we've got your waste water tank so this is what the underneath of a motor home looks like oh god a little leisure drive there that's another one of those You can see it's quite a complex job to do in a cam belt. Not a two minute job. A lot of work involved in it. So that's me for today. That's my little walk around. Uh, see you again. Don't forget. Don't forget to subscribe and to put your comments in the box.